New season, new start for the Sheffield Steelers as they lined up for their opening game of the 2012-13 Elite League season. In town came the Cardiff Devils. They brought a huge amount of travelling support and a new netminder, Phil O'Sair. Danny Wood was back in the Steelers lineup eight years from his debut. Sheffield had the, well, the upper hand in the first period until this happened. A bouncing puck over the stick of Rod Saric's stick and then the Cardiff Devils got to work. There was Blight, there was Faulkner. There was Big Max Probea and the Cardiff Devils led by one goal to nil. A shame because the Steelers had been dominant up until that point. But the Saric error, what a finish from Probea right over the glove of Di Caro. Big Max is back in action. John Di Caro had to step up and make amends in the second session. Big save as well by Big John and he set the Sheffield Steelers on their way. They were on a power play at the time. Five on three power play. They had to be patient. And a new power play lineup. It has Sean Limpright in it. But also, uh, that's Corey Pecker. And his inch perfect pass. Found Drew Fatter. Fatter shoots and scores. The Steelers back in it. We're tied at one, folks. A nice finish from Fatter. Good patience from Limpright and then from Pecker. And a blast over the glove. But Phil O'Sair, and you can see absolutely nothing he could do about it. Fans were happy. Sheffield Steelers were to take the lead as well. And the two uh, orchestrators were the same two involved. Limpright and Pecker. Feb Esders, who drove the net and got a tip. Esda beats O'Sair, you can see here. Just gets that tip. And it rebounds off O'Sair. The Steelers led by two goals to one. And Lee Estes is probably the best Sheffield Steelers player on the night. Great to see Essie score. Steelers led. Then it all changed. Interference call against Sean Limpright. On the power play. And after the Sheffield Steelers had almost scored short handed. Phil Hill. The former Sheffield Steelers. He does the mow. But Phil Hill puts the Devils on the scoreboard. It's tied at two. Nice finish from Phil Hill. He missed pre-season with an injury, but back in league action, and he makes it count. Now, there was a lot of talk about this guy, Devin Didiamate. He did nothing until this moment, with an inch-perfect pass for Stuart McRae. McRae shoots and scores. The Devils are 3-2 up, and the Devils' captain makes amends. What a great pass from Didiamate. What a super finish from Stuart McRae. You can see the Caro is already committed to the shot, and then... He's out of position as McRae fires past him. 3-2. The Sheffield Steelers came pushing. They came pressing. Legui wasn't having a great night. Couldn't make things happen. And it was young Matty Davis that was going to round off the score. And keep an eye on number six at the top of your screen. This is one that Big John will one back. Just comes off the top of the stick and rebounds over. Again, a bit more of the mo. But well done to Matt Davis. As you can see here, just rebounds off the stick through the pads. Matt Davis makes it four goals to two. The Cardiff Devils are victorious in Sheffield. Ryan Finity, though, was frustrated. Ryan, that wasn't uh, what you had planned for the home opener, was it? No, no, I'm very, uh, very disappointed in that. Um, you know, uh, uh, some parts of the game I thought we, we controlled it and, play, and played, played well. And... Uh, you know, to come out and have a third period like that, you know, it's unacceptable. Uh, their uh, their top line was better than our top line tonight. Their their best players were better than our best players, and and if that's the case, most nights you're not going to win. And you know, we we need we need our guys, uh, you know, our guys to step up. Our our best line tonight was the uh, Hewitt, Michelle, Jonathan Phillips line, by far. And you know, no offense to them, but if they're our best nine, our, our best line on the night, then we're going to struggle. We you know, you need you need Jeff Lugo, you need Colin Shields going. You know, Corey Pecker's got to pick it up, and and, that, and that's the reality. You know, defensively we defensively we gave up too many chances, way too many chances, way too many odd man rushes. Um, you know, it's, it's it's unacceptable. Uh, guys were you know maybe trying to create something out of nothing out there, and 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 getting frustrated. You know, obviously with the ice was was a bit uh, you know a bit tough to play on, but at the same time both teams play on it, so. It uh, it was disappointing, uh, you know, frustrating at, at times. But at the end of the day, it's, it's the first game, and you know we can't uh, we can't get too low. But we, we definitely need a reaction, and we need a quick one, quick response for tomorrow.
You used the word frustrating. It was frustrating in the stands. What was it like behind the bench when you could see passes bouncing off sticks and, and guys perhaps just overplaying a little bit and it, it just not gelling? Yeah, it's it's frustrating, you know, and, and you're getting chances and, and you get down low and you work hard to, to get down there and, and, you know, if the puck's bobbling off your stick. But, again, you know, both teams had to, had to go through that and, you know, I think uh, t you know we're not going to use that as an excuse. We we didn't we didn't play well tonight. Whether whether it was nerves, whether it was you know having this many new guys and not gelling, I don't know. But at the end of the day, you know, this this group needs to to regroup tomorrow. And 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 right now, all our focus is on regrouping. And we're going into a, a tough building, a very hard place to play in in, in Cardiff. And I, I, like I said, the ice is going to be worse there than it was tonight. So. You know, we, we need a quick response and we need a quick response from, from our top guys. Just tell us what the feeling was like going into that third session because as does a driven the net well and he, he got the tip on that goal and put the Steelers ahead. Did you feel that you'd weathered the storm and would come out probably stronger in that third period? Yeah, I thought, you know, I, we, we left coming out of the room there heading out and, and we said the next goal is ours, the next goal is huge. And, you know, I, I thought we, we came out all right and had some good pressure and, and as soon as they, uh, they tied it up, we, we went on our back heels and, and obviously, you know, that third goal, you know, with, with six, seven minutes left was, was a tough one. But at the end of the day, I thought I expected more of a response from our guys. And I expected them to, to push a little harder. And, and, that, and that's disappointing. And, but like I said, you know, we discussed it. We, you know, we talked about it. And, and I, you got to reiterate to the, to the new guys that we don't accept losing in Sheffield. And this isn't, this isn't just another, another loss and, and we roll on to tomorrow. It, it, it's got something that's got to kill you. And, and, you know, the British guys know what it's like and the importance. And, and every, every game, like we looked like, like we saw last year, every game is important. You can't lose at home. You want to, you want to compete in the league. You can't drop points at home, and we put ourselves, you know, behind the eight ball a bit here. But uh, like I said, I'm, I'm looking for a big response tomorrow. Um, you know, we'll, we'll be a better team tomorrow, and, and I put a lot of pressure on, on our top guys, and, and they'll continue to have pressure all year because they need to they need to perform. Just finally, was that the message you sent after the game because the door was locked when when I got down here tonight, and you were obviously uh, you know making your views uh, well and truly known? Yeah, you know it. You know, obviously, you, you don't want to panic after one game, but. At the same time, we don't accept guys that don't work in all three zones. If you're not going to work, if you're not going to work in all three zones, and you're not going to battle every night, then you're not going to play for me. And, and that's and that's what we said. And I won't, you know, young Esther's had a great game tonight. Every time I put him out there, if guys aren't going to work, then, then these kids are going to play. And, and that's as simple as that. You know, nothing's given here. Everything everything here has to be earned. Doesn't matter who you are. And, and I think that that's the, the motto we're going with this year. We got depth and and. If guys aren't if guys aren't going, then we're going to use them. Gee, congratulations! That was the perfect start for you. Yeah, it was uh, it was a good performance. I thought a good result, and uh, you know I thought the first period I thought Phil Ozer was not only best player on the ice for both teams that period, but throughout the game. And um, that's what you need in games like this is for individual players to make individual plays. That first line of yours looks some line, but you actually had contributions all over from all three units. Yeah, I mean that that, that first line's it's going to be fantastic. They move the puck so quick. Uh, and they they're all sh they all shoot, which makes it difficult for the defenders. But uh, it was a good team effort from us tonight, and um, you know it was a nice play by Devin Didi Mitty. I know he's been getting a tough time; um, it's deserved at times. Mm -hmm. But uh, he made a nice player at the end to get that winning goal. Yeah, talk to us about that first line of yours because the two new guys you've brought in, they've played together. You've just been explaining to me so you know so much in the in the past. That that's got to help, hasn't it? Yeah, I mean they were uh, you know line mates in, in college, and it was one thing uh, you know. Faulkner was kind of the first uh, to fall in the recruitment. We've been working on these guys for a number of years. And uh, I knew once I got uh, Faulkner, there's a good chance I'd get Blade. A and Marsh, who's a fantastic defenseman. And, um, you know, to get all three of those guys, it makes it easier just right off the start. They're in comfortable. Um, they, all three of them have good attitudes, which has worn off on the other players. And with goaltending, you just want your goalie to give you a chance. And Ose does that every night. He made some great stops first two sessions. There was a, a breakaway in, in the first period. I don't know if it was Legui went forehand, limp right forehand, backhand. And, you know, that's, that's a game changer, that save. I mean, you know, Sheffield get that goal. They could be... You know, on a flyer from there on in, but you know, f you know, Phil's, Phil's fantastic. I said it right from the get-go when I signed him. I thought he'd be one of, if not the best players in the league.